In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Copilot to generate output as a table and also to summarize information from a variety of sources in that table. So I'm going to open up Copilot here and I'm going to select more uh, precise because I want it to go ahead and search the web for information. So I, this, this uh, prompt's a little bit long, so I created it beforehand. I'm going to paste it in to the chat and then explain it. So first I, I say, I'm interested in seeing what various news outlets are saying about the 2024 presidential primaries. Generate a table with the following columns to help me get a quick summary of the news. The news source, the article title, an article summary, and then this is something I've added pro-Trump bias on a scale from one to five, with five being the highest level of bias, pro-Nikki Haley bias from one to five, with, with five being the highest level of bias, and then give me a link to the news source. Find at least 10 sources. These sources should be from both US as well as other countries. Okay, and let's press the submit button and see what we get. Okay, so it's telling me that it can't give me a, uh, a bias um, rating. However, sometimes when I ask it to do that, it does do it. So this is something else to understand about generative AI. There is a amount of randomness built into the system. You could ask the system the same question and you will never get exactly the same answer. However, it is doing the other things that I ask it to. It's giving me a news source, the article title, an article summary and a link to the article. And it's doing it in table format. Um, has it given me 10? It didn't, but the first time I ran it, it did. It's also showing me the uh, references to where it found this information as well as suggestions uh, from um, places that Microsoft does business with. And then down here, uh, it shows me these actual articles. Uh, I could ask it to regenerate and say, please regenerate and give me at least 10 sources. This is another th thing to understand about generative AI. It doesn't always do everything that you ask it to perfectly. And that's why it's called a chat because it, you can ask it to, can, to improve on what it's done or change what it's un done. It's saying it could only find six sources, so it's gonna go out and try again. That's why it's called a chat, because the, ch the uh, generative AI remembers everything that you've done before in the current chat, and you can reference those things. I'm not gonna wait for it to try to generate more answers for the sake of time, but that's a basic overview of how you could use generative AI to summarize information in a table.